Emily Ragabir joins me from Toronto. Good to speak to you. So why now has the Mounted Police offered to withdraw from the contested territory? Why now? Absolutely. Thank you, Robin. Well, basically, the uh, the Minister of Public Safety, Bill Blair, he said earlier today that the RCMB, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, will gesture to move away from the barricaded area. This is seen as a very positive gesture uh, on their part. But the, the thing is, the Wet'suwet'en group, they believe this is, is part of a media strategy, a media ploy. So they're not sure of how genuine uh, this, this, uh, this option is for them. Uh, but it is a step forward, and the Liberal government is definitely making it seem as a step forward in the negotiation process that the federal government is supposedly supposed to have with the Wet'suwet'en group. And a rail company says it's now being forced to lay off workers because of this. What impact is this having across the country? Absolutely. This is this is an unprecedented move. I mean, via rail, uh, the government railway system here, they have not seen something like this happen in their 42 years of operation. So the idea that this would shut down a passenger railway system as well as CN, Canadian railway system, where, uh, where goods are transported from one side of this country to the next, uh, is, is absolutely uh, unprecedented. And the fact that they are going to lay off over a thousand people, uh, mind you, it is a temporary lay off until they could come to some sort of agreement or con conclusion between uh, the government and uh, the Wet'suwet'en group. So uh, just to give just to give some context, it's $425 million of goods that are that's transported uh, via train from from uh, West Coast to East Coast here. So so it, it is it is a huge economic uh, block for this country. And that was even echoed today in the House of Commons, where the Conservative opposition uh, alluded to the fact that the Liberal government isn't doing enough to put an end to this, or at least bring this to some sort of resolve, and that it threatens the essence, the backbone of this country, the economy, which is the railway system. Okay, Emily Ragabir in Toronto. Many thanks for speaking to us.